குருஞ்சி சீனியர் செகண்டரி ஸ்கூல் சிபிஎஸ்இ நாமக்கல் சக்சஸ்ஃபுல் ரிசல்ட் ப்ரொடியூசிங் ஸ்கூல் இன் ஸ்டேட் எவ்ரி இயர் அட்மினிஸ்டர்ட் பை தி போர்ட் ஆஃப் டைரக்டர்ஸ் வித் ஓவர் 35 இயர்ஸ் ஆஃப் எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ் இன் தி டீச்சிங் ஃபீல்ட் ஸ்பெஷல் அட்டென்ஷன் ஆன் ஆர்ட் கிராஃப்ட் மியூசிக் டான்ஸ் சிலம்பம் யோகா ஸ்கேட்டிங் அண்ட் கராத்தே ஃபோகஸ் ஆன் ஹிந்தி சபா அண்ட் ஸ்பெல் பி ஒலிம்பியாட் எக்ஸாம்ஸ் ஸ்மார்ட் கிளாஸ் ஃபார் எஃபெக்டிவ் அண்ட் இனோவேட்டிவ் லேர்னிங் அண்ட் வெல் ஃபர்னிஷ்ட் லைப்ரரி சாலிட்டரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ஸ் ஆன் ஸ்போர்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் கேம்ஸ் இன் ஸ்டேட் அண்ட் நேஷனல் லெவல் வாட்ஸ்அப் facilities to know activities of students and school inside the campus free bus for lkg to 8th standard free hygienic and nutritious food neat jee iit coaching experts from rajasthan and andhra pradesh along with our effective teachers admission registration for classes lkg to plus 2 kurunji education institution kaveti patti namakkal admission in progress cbse kg to 12th contact 9025895176 metric 6212th contact 9344567484 for online admission log on to www.kurunjischoolnkl.in in continuation to the last class in this class we are going to discuss one example problem that is example 10.8 based on mallas law i is equal to i not cos square theta afterwards in continuation to that we are going to discuss polarization by scattering polarization by scattering right so what is meant by scattering we already discussed in our previous chapter ray optics but here we are going to discuss polarization by scattering right so first we are going to discuss the example problem 10.8 so in connection to this problem in our last class we focused to learn what is polarization and what happens to the polarized light so what is unpolarized light what is the polarized light right in that what is a plane polarized light okay and what is a transverse wave because light is a picture of electromagnetic wave that electromagnetic wave is transverse in nature so basically what is transverse wave means when the when the particles when the oscillation of the particles in a medium that is what the, when the oscillation of the particles is perpendicular for example in case of electromagnetic wave oscillations of that is what the electric field and related to the magnetic field so here the oscillations are perpendicular to the direction of propagation of a wave then such type of wave is said to be transverse wave right because here the source is unpolarized light that is electromagnetic wave so the picture of light so afterwards we discussed what is a polarization and because of two polaroids because of single polaroid what will happen because of two polaroids by changing the axis by changing the axis of the polaroids what happens to the uh, what is that emergent light what happens to the intensity of the emergent light that we discussed so there itself we got one important formula that is i is equal to i not cos square theta so which is which was given by molas the famous scientist right now based on that formula we are going to discuss one problem see here ma discuss the intensity of transmitted light when a polaroid sheet is rotated between two crossed polaroids discuss the intensity of transmitted light when a polaroid sheet is rotated between two crossed polaroids between two crossed polaroids okay right now see the solution i hope you understood the question first of all because what he is asking through the question that is important based on that the solution will be so here he is asking to discuss the intensity of transmitted light when a polaroid sheet is rotated between two crossed polaroids so already ordinary source that is what uh, light is available and then two polaroids are there like p1 and p2 whatever it may be the naming in between these two polaroids we are going to insert another polaroid and the very important thing is the two polaroids which were exist initially are crossed polaroids right okay see here we are going to see the solution ma 
let i not be the intensity of polarized light after passing through the first polarizer p1 right is it clear let i not be the intensity of polarized light after passing through the first polarizer first polarizer right so there is a unpolarized light that is what source of light a light and when it passes through the polarizer p1 the light will be polarized the intensity of the polarized light will be i not just we are we are assuming it as i not next then the intensity of the light after passing through the second polarizer p2 will be then the intensity of the light after passing through the second polarizer will be that is p2 p2 will be i is equal to i not cos square theta i is equal to i not cos square theta right it is that what uh, mohler's law formula next here itself what is theta theta is the angle between pos axis of p1 and p2 pos axis of p1 and p2 here that is what uh, since uh, p1 and p3 are crossed p1 and p3 are crossed the angle between the pos axis of p2 and p3 will be pi by 2 minus theta right so first uh, p1 p2 exist now p1 and p3 are crossed p1 and p3 are crossed the angle between the pos axis of p2 and p3 p2 and p3 will be pi by 2 minus theta pi by 2 minus theta right so whatever the naming we want you can give it's not a problem but we have to understand what are the two polaroids initially afterwards what is the third polaroid we kept we kept between two polaroids which were exist initially so which are also called which are also uh, which are also crossed polaroids based on that only you can find the angle so here the angle between the pos axis of p2 and p3 will be pi by 2 minus theta pi by 2 minus theta right okay hence the intensity of the light the intensity of light emerging from p3 will be the intensity of the light emerging from p3 will be i is equal to i not cos square theta i is equal to i not cos square theta into cos square pi by 2 minus theta cos square pi by 2 minus theta right so that is what uh, we have to notice here so this is what the intensity the intensity emerging from p3 the intensity emerging from p3 that is what i is equal to i not cos square theta cos square pi by 2 minus theta so if you observe carefully i not cos square theta is the intensity of light just before this after passing this again the same formula that is what i is equal to i not cos square theta but here this i not cos square theta will become like intensity right then remaining is as it is that is what cos square theta but according to that what uh, situation given in the question it is pi by 2 minus theta 90 minus theta right then here that is equal to i not cos square theta it will be sin square theta it will be sin square theta then finally you can write it as i not by 4 sin square 2 theta i not by 4 sin square 2 theta right so therefore the transmitted intensity will be maximum therefore the transmitted intensity will be maximum when theta is equal to pi by 4 when theta is equal to pi by 4 observe carefully ma the transmitted intensity will be maximum when theta is equal pi by 4 right so when you write here pi by 4 it will become pi by 2 right then it will be pi by 2 means what is the sin 90 right sin 90 cos 0 is equal to 1 right then finally sin square 90 means it is what 1 then i is equal to i not by 4 i is equal to i not by 4 in some other case that is what in another case it will be minimum because when theta is equal to 0 right when sin theta is equal to 0 then that is what uh, sin 0 sin 0 and cos 90 it will be 0 sin 90 cos 0 is 1 so that based on the trigonometric values you will decide when it will be maximum when it will be minimum right 
So, this is about the problem example 10.8 here we discuss the intensity of transmitted light when a polaroid sheet is rotated between two crossed polaroids between two crossed polaroids ok right. Now, we are going to discuss next uh, polarization by scattering polarization by scattering ok polarization by scattering see here see this observe carefully what is meant by scattering in our previous chapter we discussed right. So, in that case what is that especially in case of uh, winter when the vehicle is going to move when the vehicle is in a journey even at the time of morning 7 o'clock also the vehicles are not able to move because of thick moist fog. So, because of this thick moist fog what is happening means the light which comes from headlight of the vehicle will scattered by the what is that the water molecules and air molecules which are present in the air or atmosphere. So, when the light scattered in different directions the driver who is there in the vehicle cannot see the object which are present in front of the vehicle right. So, this is the very good application because of scattering of light in our daily life right. So, the scattering means reflecting into many directions. So, in this example itself you can say that the light which falls on the water molecules or air molecules which are present in the atmosphere scattered into different directions. So, that he cannot see the driver cannot see the object which is present in front of the vehicle, in front of the car, in front of the lorry whatever it may be. So, here in case of polarization when when the when the what is that unpolarized light or when the incident sunlight generally atmosphere means we are taking sunlight as an example right as a source of light. So, when incident sunlight that is what unpolarized light incidents or meets an atmospheric molecule that is what the combination of air and water. So, the light will scatter. So, what happens to the scatter lights? So, how it is going to polarize that is our discussion right. So, polarization by scattering means we are going to talk about the light after completion of scattering what will happen? What will happen to the light that is our discussion. See here the light from a clear blue portion of the sky shows a rise and fall of intensity when viewed through a polaroid which is rotated right. So, polaroid means like a, a thin plastic sheet thin plastic sheet. So, when you see when we will see the sunlight that is what the, the light from a clear blue portion of the sky the light from clear blue portion of the sky shows a rise and fall of intensity when viewed through a polaroid which is rotated which is rotated ok right. Next this is nothing but this is nothing but sunlight which has changed its direction this is nothing but the sunlight which has changed its direction. So, which has changed its direction means having been scattered having been scattered and when the sunlight is changing its direction it encounters the molecules it has to encounter the molecules of the earth's atmosphere as shown in the figure right you will see what you will see some figure I will show you. So, when it when the light is going to meet that is what the scattered light when the sunlight which has changed its direction on, encon on encountering the molecules of the earth's atmosphere as shown in the figure. So, please try to understand ma, here the sunlight which comes from sun which is going to meet a molecule after that after that the, the direction of the sunlight is going to change after that the sunlight of the the direction of the sunlight is going to change. So, that is that is simply said to be having been scattered having been scattered right ok. Now, the incident sunlight is unpolarized right the incident sunlight is unpolarized the dots stand for polarization perpendicular to the plane of the figure here he is explaining about the figure the dots stand for polarization perpendicular to the plane of the figure. So, here perpendicular to the plane of the board next the double arrows the double arrows show the double arrows shows 
polarization in the plane of the figure the double arrows shows polarization in the plane of the figure so he is saying the difference between dots and double arrows while representing on the board to understand conceptually and there is no phase relation between these two in case of unpolarized light there is no phase relation between these two that is what uh, double arrows and dots what we are representing in unpolarized light next under the influence of the electric field of the incident wave under the influence of the electric field of the incident wave the electrons in the molecules acquire components of motion in both these directions i'll repeat once again under the influence of the electric field under the influence of the electric field of the incident wave of the incident wave the electrons in the molecules the electrons in the molecules you know very well molecule means is a, a combination of atoms right then atom means electrons and the nucleus is also there so nucleus means the nucleons are present protons and neutrons so that we have to keep in mind so when the under the influence of the electric field of the incident wave the electrons in the molecules acquire components of motion in both these directions in both these directions so that we have drawn an observer looking at 90 degrees to the direction of the sun clearly to the 90 degrees of the direction of the sun 90 degrees to the direction of the sun clearly right afterwards if you observe carefully we have drawn an observer looking at 90 degrees to the direction of the sun clearly changes accelerating parallel to the double arrows parallel to the double arrows do not radiate energy towards this observer towards this observer the reason is their acceleration has no transverse component their acceleration has no transverse component so whatever the point now i am in a discussion this is the key points this is the key point this point is totally explaining what happens to the light after completion of scattering okay see this i'll repeat once again when observer looking at 90 degrees to the direction of the sun charges accelerating parallel arrows do not radiate energy towards this observer because their acceleration so the acceleration of the molecules acceleration of the molecules has no transverse component has no transverse component right so this point we have to keep in mind ma because based on this point we can explain the total that is what from starting to ending rest of the uh, rest of the explanation is talking about the picture and is talking about what happens when the sunlight meets a molecule and talking about what about the dot and what about the double arrows but this point is talking about what happens to the light after completion of scattering right next the radiation scattered by the radiation scattered by the molecule is therefore represented by dots the radiation scattered by the molecule is therefore represented by dots it is polarized perpendicular to the plane of figure it is polarized perpendicular to the plane of the figure see here see this picture so this picture is explaining for us how the light is going to bend and what about the scattered light when compared to the incident sunlight the radiation scattered by the molecule is therefore represented by dots this one represented by dots next in continuation to that it is polarized perpendicular to the plane of the figure this explains the polarization of scattered light from the sky so this is what uh, is perpendicular to the this is what direction of incident light that is direction of incident sunlight so here the angle is 90 degrees next polarization of the blue scattered light from the sky so he is explaining about the picture so in this picture we are seeing we are observing the polarization of the blue scattered light from the sky and next uh, the incident sunlight is unpolarized so this is what uh, unpolarized 
dots and these are the dots ma you see the red light so here you can observe the dots and these are the arrows okay a typical molecule is shown this is that molecule a typical molecule is shown here it scatters it scatters light by 90 degrees polarized normal to the plane of the paper normal to the plane of the paper and that is what the perpendicular to the plane of the board and here we have dots only so you can see here three dots are there if you want you can put many dots but uh, for sake of our observation and for our convenience we put three here one two three here also three right that is so here regarding this polarization by scattering regarding this polarization by scattering if you observe once from starting onwards here he is talking here he is saying that so the clear if you see the clear blue portion of the sky a rise and fall of intensity you can observe through a polaroid which is rotated this is nothing but the sunlight which has changed its direction when it when it encounter a molecule of earth's atmosphere a molecule of earth's atmosphere and the sunlight is it uh, the light which comes from sun is is unpolarized light here dots indicating that polarization perpendicular to the plane and arrows indicating polarization in the plane of the figure in the plane of the board there is no phase difference between these two in unpolarized light next under the influence of the electric field of the incident wave the electrons in the molecules acquires components of motion in both these directions now if the observer is looking at 90 degrees to the direction of the sun clearly charges accelerating parallel charges accelerating parallel to the double arrows do not radiate energy towards this observer because because there is uh, because there their acceleration has no transverse component their acceleration has no transverse component that's it so afterwards again he is explaining generally that is what uh, radiation scattered by the molecule is therefore represented by dots it is polarized perpendicular to the plane this explains the polarization of scattered light from the sky from the sky right so two important points throughout this discussion here from this that is what uh, the electric field see here ma so that is what uh, under the influence of the electric field of the incident wave the electrons in the molecules acquire components of motion in both these directions then we have drawn an observer looking at 90 degrees to the direction of the sun next clearly charges accelerating parallel to the double arrows do not radiate energy towards this observer because their acceleration has no transverse component right so this information you have to underline or you have to remember to explain this topic either for three marks or five marks even in the point of competitive exam also this uh, this knowledge is important how the light is going to scattered sorry how the light is going to change that is what uh, what are the changes takes place when light is going to scattered in case of wave theory that is important okay right so this uh, scattering of the scattering of light by molecules was intensively investigated by c v raman famous scientist and he also got nobel prize for physics in 1930 for this work okay so here C. V. Raman and his collaborators in Kolkata in the year of 1920 observed this phenomena that is scattering of light by molecules, scattering of light by molecules so that for this work he got Nobel Prize also, right. In this class, we focus to learn one example problem based on that i is equal to i naught cos square theta, i is equal to i naught cos square theta afterwards we went to discuss polarization by scattering so there itself how the light is going to polarize through that scattering of light 
scattering of light. So here the main point is under, under the influence of the electric field of the incident wave, the electrons in the molecules acquire components of motion in both these directions, in both these directions, okay, that is one point. And then the charges accelerating parallel to the double arrows do not radiate energy towards this observer, towards this observer since their acceleration has no transverse component. So, this is the key point which explains the complete phenomena of polarization by scattering. In the next class, we will continue polarization by reflection. Thank you.